DeepSeek's API. It's been down for more than a week now, and the only way to use DeepSeek in your code is downloading the model and install it on your local computer and use it. So, and also another caveat here, we don't have any access to file upload option nowadays. Like for the last three days, we are not able to upload any file and a full and a file image uh, whatsoever onto the DeepSeek to get the data about them, to just ask anything about them, etc. Let's just show you. I'm just gonna show you guys just another random file and there you go. Upload fail. So but today we will be scratching our own itch and we will be creating a local DeepSeek R1 model which is able to get uh, images, get files, etc. Which is able to get images, files, and whatsoever. So without further ado, let's just get started. Here's you can see, and this is the API page for DeepSeek, and it's not working. It's more than a week now, and so annoying. Uh, by the way, the most of the staff, most of the crew of DeepSeek, I think they're in sabbatical because it's Chinese New Year, and probably they're not working. They're in this is like their national holiday. So let's just get started with the DeepSeek local OCR model. OCR is optical character recognition. And they are also using uh, OCR to get the data, to extract the data, to extract the text data, extract anything from the images, from files, uh, whatever. So we will be. So we will be implying, we will applying the same method that they're, that they're doing in their, uh, on their web page, on their web interface. So in order to do that, there are several options. Like you can install the OCR library to your computer. And the other one is actually using OpenAI, OpenAI's visual model to get a great description about the images that you're uploading. So this one is the first one. This is local OCR, local DeepSeek R1 model installed on my local computer. And if you don't know how to install a DeepSeek R1 model, check out my previous videos. You can find it on my channel. It is too easy to install it on your local computer and you can easily start using today. So this is my DeepSeek model, model R1, 1.5 billion parameters. Uh, this is the smallest model. Then I'm creating some chatbot context here, chatbot context with the conversation history. Uh, in addition to that, we have also some uh, conversation history, which means uh, we'll be able to remember anything that's happening in the conversation that we're having with the uh, a deep sick model and extra we do have some files i'm in functions so the detect file path in the context in the input comes from user and we will be getting some data that has the suffix which is png gpeg gpeg uh, gif bmp then we will extract the text from image and this one, this one is I'm just using Easy OCR, which is the lightest model uh, out there in the marketplace. Whenever it comes to like OCR models, you need to uninstall them in your on your local computer, uh, which is similar to like you're installing DeepSeek R1 models because these models are actually large. But this Easy Easy OCR is actually too easy to install. You just pip install Easy OCR. Let me just show you pip install. Easy OCR, okay, oopsie. Then uh, you actually, you're ready to go. So I'm actually doing some, I'm checking if the valid file is, uh, if the file path is valid or not. And this is the main function. So let me just show you guys uh, how that works. So by the way, this is our image. This is a literal reference with Rika Morty. If you guys are watching Rika Morty or at some point in your life, if you watch Rika Morty, thumbs up because I'm a big fan. If you're a fan too, don't forget to subscribe. It's it's really important to surround yourself like minded people. If you're like if you like Rika Morty and if you're interested in AI, that's crazy. Okay. Rick created this robot only for one purpose, which is to to like to pass the butter to himself. Uh, and at some point robot has opened his eyes and started asking some existential crisis and uh, re related to existential crisis uh, topic questions like what is my purpose what i'm doing see that's why i love rick and morty because they're attaching too much meanings they're attaching too much meaning to, to even the slightest detail in the series 
Look at that. It's a little robot is just passing the butter, but at some point he opened his eyes, he has opened his eyes and started asking some uh, questions about his existence, about his presence in this life. It's a great nuance in the series. I suggest you to watch the series, the entire series. So by the way, this is the whole purpose of this robot, like I said, just passing the butter to Rick. Okay. So let's just get started with the easy OCR. All right. Oh, I've been actually running this. Let me just, just quit. Since it's local, there is no inference time from the uh, servers, from the deep sea, from the deep sea servers. You can easily just ask anything about it and then you will be saying, uh, responses from the model instantaneously right off bat. You're just so easy. All right. So about these lines, uh, these lines are actually actually about the OCR OCR model that we're using, which is easy, easy OCR. So beforehand, it just installs some libraries. You will be seeing also some like installing uh, progress here once you run it for the first time. But I will like run it. For several times so let's just get started with hi hello how can i assist you so i'm just gonna take the relative path and just paste it right over here and now processing the file with ocr it says and just extracting the text from the text from the like image and we're just waiting for it right now once it's done it will be giving us some description about the image because R1 is will be like seeing the result from the OCR model directly. There you go. So extract the text is what is my purpose, but there is some distortions as you can see. There's extra why we have and what. So let's just ask what it can be. So it's also thinking about, so I'm trying to figure out Zoom in. Oops, that was too much. So here's you can see you can see the thought uh, thinking process here. I asked what it can be. All right, so I'm trying to figure out what wit means in the text context. From what I've seen this before, which stands for the what I what it can be that makes sense because it's a common operation for it. Using it yada yada yada, and we do have some final answer in the context Minecraft teams. So which is totally totally unrelated to our image so that's why i was actually planning to show you guys this easy ocr model but turns out it's not working great so i decided to continue my work with openai's model so i'm defining my openai key and client and with the conversation here again the, the the only reason the only difference between these two files is actually is openai client i'm using right now OpenAI's model GPT-40 vision to the extract the text to also get to some not only just extracting text we do also have some uh, description we can also get to description because we're now using our uh, GPT-40 minis uh, vision model GPT-40 minis has also vision uh, features which means you can easily get some descriptions about the images and stuff so let's just get started with this one okay so you can also specify the max tokens that you're gonna uh, get and same functions in the previous file. And yeah, that's it. So let's just get started with this one because this one works like a charm. Run it in the dedicated terminal. All right. So besides that was OCR, you can easily check with it too. Hi, as you can see. Now I'm gonna copy the path and paste it here. Now it's analyzing the images, sending some requests to the OpenAI servers uh, via OpenAI's API, which means you also need to have some OpenAI's key. So first off, oh yeah. So this is a description about the image that we gave to the OpenAI's model. The overall aesthetic is playful and style is reminiscent of animated shots, the background simple eye color and fuzzing the robot and butter. And the text is what is my purpose, which is 100% correct. The image features a cartoon robot with a box-like body, articulated arms and legs, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that is actually pretty nice. Final answer, the image depicts a cartoon robot. This response from um, Deepseek Armwell model, 1.5 billion parameters. So I will be saying, 
what it can be. All right. So now it's thinking because because we have the conversation history, we're able to ask. We're able to ask anything, anything that's happening in the conversation in the previous converse in the previous like questions and responses, whatever. The context thing is also really long when it comes to context. Size. Like uh, deep sea global model has almost like one hundred twenty k, one hundred twenty one hundred twenty thousand uh, context. Like I think that something like that. Okay, I looked it up. It's actually hundred around like hundred thirty thousand tokens as a limit for the uh, context window. So. So I asked actually what it can be and storytelling these images could inspire various robot teams like adventure, self-discovery, on the environment interaction. For example, the robot could be character character trying to understand its purpose in this world, or it could represent a larger narrative, which elements stand for a different aspect. It's actually really nice. Like as long as you have the great description of the image, Deep Cigar One model is just working like a charm. This Responses are beyond good, <laughs> beyond my expectations. Okay, the pattern floor in yellow butter block could symbolize patterns of life. What the hell? Or the human way to human environment in culture symbolism. Open ended exploration, exploration is images could be lead on short exploration. Where you can of city. Wow, that's that's actually nice. Yeah, in summary, while well, there's no specific answer, well, there's a specific answer. Uh, these images can inspire various inter uh, interpretations depending on how you weave them. Uh, for ample room for storytelling, so this expression is also impressive. Well, that's actually beyond my expectations. Like, I'm not kidding. But there's only one condition to get responses like that, which is great descriptions, great demonstrations, maybe, dem demonstrations too, maybe, for your images that you're uploading to the model. Uh, in order to get the, in order to get great descriptions and like, Explanations about the images, you have to have great OCR model. That can be open AI's model, that can be like locally installed, maybe Tesseract or something like that. There's some other OCR models too. But open AI works here very nice. I like that. Yeah, that was it for this video. Now you can easily upload images to your local uh, DeepSeek R1 model. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. And see you in the next one. Bye bye.